Whoa, what is this small box that I'm trapped in? Well, this is what it looked like before widescreen high definition video. And in keeping with the style of what you're about to see, I decided to go old school. Okay, if you follow my channel, you've probably heard me talk about my epic bike ride from Honduras to Boulder, but you haven't seen much footage of it. Well, it's finally time to change that. This is 16 years in the making. You know, I just watched Batman Begins recently and I thought to myself, I need to make my own origin story. Now I'm not a superhero, but this is the adventure that inspired my love of bike touring and documenting adventures with a video camera. Now, why did it take me so long to make this? Well, I did create a short five minute summary video of the ride back in 2006. It was actually the very first video I ever made and it surprisingly aired on the Travel Channel. And it was this experience that instigated my passion for telling stories and documenting travel adventures. I planned on making a full documentary of the ride, but I moved on to other projects and never went back to all the hours of footage. Well, because of the pandemic, I've had a lot more time at home than usual. And a couple weeks ago, I got inspired to find that old dusty footage and take a look. I gotta say, it's been a blast revisiting all those amazing memories. Looking back at baby Ryan is pretty funny. That ride from Honduras to Boulder is when I fell in love with traveling at 15 miles an hour, with meeting amazing people and realizing that there's a lot of magic out there. Now, I had no idea what I was getting into when I started the journey back in September 2005, but I was ready for adventure and I wanted to take the long way home after two incredible years as a Peace Corps volunteer. And check it out, this is the actual camera that I used to film the journey, an old Sony Handycam. And guess what kids, it took tapes. This thing is not digital. Total workhorse, I loved this camera. Check out this old artifact. This is the actual map that I used to navigate all the way home. There was no GPS back then. I definitely did not have a cell phone. So it was this map. And honestly, it was just talking to locals everywhere and asking for directions all the way home to Boulder, Colorado. And this right here is the bike, the Trek 8000 that I bought secondhand when I was down in Honduras. This is the one that I rode all the way home. It's a mountain bike, it's not a touring bike, but it did the job. I would still ride it, but I busted the frame right there pretty badly, cracked right in half. Now, it's just a decoration. Okay, one last thing before we get started. I wanna warn families with kids who usually watch my videos. As a rule, I try my best not to say swear words, because I know that a lot of little people watch my channel. But for this film, I left them in. There's not a ton, just a little, but they're in there. I wanted to keep this edit raw, a true look into every emotion that I was going through. There's also some documentation of interesting roadkill and some parasites. It's nothing your kids haven't seen in your average violent video game, but I just wanna put the warning out there. This is definitely PG-13. It has a lot of humor of 25-year-old best buddies on the adventure of a lifetime. Okay, it is time. Are you ready to watch Babyface Ryan? Let's do it. Hello, we're here. It is a couple days before the big ride and we're gonna try out the, the little trailer. The kids are very excited about this. Vamos a probar la carretilla, ¿verdad, niños? Simón! Simón! Bueno, aquí estamos cargados con las niñas. We got the girls here, we're ready to go and try out to see if this cart works. There's no better way to try out the cart than to drag around a few Honduran niñas. So we're gonna give it a shot. ¿Listas? Tienen miedo? 
Vaya, vámonos. Ay, ay, no puedo. Ay, bueno. Bueno, aquí va Brian con las niñas de Barrio Terrero. ¿Dónde vamos, niñas? ¿Hasta dónde vamos? Arriba. Arriba. Hasta arriba, hasta arriba, hasta arriba. Arriba, arriba, arriba. ¡Adiós! Pass the test. ¿Y quién va, va conmigo a la USA? Yo, yo. ¿De veras? ¿Las dos? Sí. If I leave in two days, let's see, I got all my, my important things. Got my Huckleberry Finn, motorcycle diaries. Hmm, kind of similar to what I'm doing. My machete. Let's see if it's really in there. Oh yeah, that's a real one. It's a real machete. And I've got two things of peanut butter there, and jelly, and power bars, tools, flags, pumps, journals, bags, lots of stuff. It's pretty cool. And this is the big, big mama bag full of all my, my sleeping stuff. ¿Qué piensan ustedes sobre mi viaje a los Estados Unidos en bicicleta? Que se va a llorar. Ah, de verdad. Pero qué, qué piensan sobre el viaje? Muy peligroso. Ah, de veras. Ajá. ¿Qué piensas de mi viaje en bicicleta a los Estados Unidos? Creo que lo logrará y que seré el campeón de todo el mundo. Pues que vaya que tenga muy buenas tardes, que le vaya bien en su viaje y que, y que siempre a, a nos recuerde en su corazón. Y saludes a toda su familia. Bueno, oh, y yeah. tenemos, tenemos un pequeño baile para usted. Uh. Too much, too much stuff. My last morning in La Esperanza and it is beautiful and misty and beautiful, baby. The kids came and woke me up at 5.30. And now I'm up. The last look at my little flowers. These guys haven't bloomed for a year. And now today they are. I did it. I did it. I'm packed up and ready to go, and it's another day. I'm sitting here rocking out some Bill Withers. I love you, Esperanza. We'll be back someday. You can tell that I've been crying, my eyes are a little puppy. Yeah, that happens. I'm a big baby. Hola, Rixi. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Here I am, getting ready to leave. Leaving Esperanza. Cinco estrellas. Cinco estrellas de pálido azul. There's the bike, there's the trailer. Way too heavy. I'm heading down and into the left. Adiós, casa. Casa tan bonita. Adiós, mi familia. Vemos.
I might sound jolly and excited, but leaving Esperanza was one of the hardest days of my life. Tears streamed down my face as I pedaled away from my familia. It hurt so bad to say goodbye to all my kids. They were my life for two years. I was like an older brother to an entire barrio of niños, and I didn't know when I'd see them again. I'd never dedicated myself so fully to anything before. I was proud of my work as a Peace Corps volunteer. And although my heart was aching, I was excited for the adventure ahead of me. I feel good. I've said my goodbyes. I've shedded my tears. I got my goodbyes, got my hugs, everything. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to start the adventure. Let's go. This is Ryan's view of the bike. Oh yeah, a little bit bouncy. It is quite beautiful in this valley. Okay, I've been going downhill for about 30 kilometers and have barely even touched my pedal. But now I have to head that way, up and over those mountains. Y hay pasada para mí hoy. Sí. Sí, puedo pasar. Sí. Continuar su viaje. Check it, check it, check it. Muy bien. ¿Y qué opina de mi mi viaje? There's the last road sign I will see for my La Esperanza, meaning I've gone 67 kilometers. This is the main Tegus San Pedro Highway, and now is where I'm gonna have to deal with traffic because the other road, there was barely any traffic. There's my rig, looking good. Pero yo voy a ir en bicicleta. Esa bicicleta aquí. Voy a los. Voy a ir en bicicleta para Estados Unidos. Sí. Okay. Porque es una buena aventura, ¿no? Sí, verdad. En bicicleta y para los Estados Unidos, ¿viste? Está bien, Sí, está bien, verdad. Buena aventura, ¿no? ¿Cuánto tiempo más o menos está? Tres meses para llegar. Justo para la Navidad. <laughs> sí. Tres meses. No, 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 no mucha prisa. Y es mejor, es mejor en bicicleta que avión. Más seguro. Sí, más seguro. Sí. Dios. Following that bus. So pretty, and not many cars on this road, baby. It's all mine. Totally jungly. Adios. Jungle, jungle, tropical, green, lush, beautiful. Adios. Vemos. Saluda la cámara. Adios. I wonder if I'm going to have dysfunción erectil after three months of riding on this bicycle. Woo! My ass hurts, baby. Oh, look how happy they are. I'm in Puerto Cortez at a beautiful Star Mart, Texaco. I just bought a nice uh, fierce blue bolt. Gatorade. Good thing about these Texacos is they got great music all day long, blasting. Oh yeah. Front page news every day. There's always a dead guy on the cover of Honduran newspapers. I'm sitting here waiting for my my last Honduran Baleadas coming out of this Commodore right here. I imagine they'll be pretty good. We're in Omoa. Everything is going great. Gracias. My last baleada is here in Honduras. It's pretty exciting. Kind of sad at the same time. This is this is my staple food for the past two years. We got tortillas, we got beans, we got some eggs. It's pretty much a bean burrito. That's what we call it in America, but in Honduras, it's a baleada. Sunday on a Latin American beach, man. It is packed with people. Como están? Oh, hablas inglés? Wow, very good. 
Ah, mira. Entonces estos no son para comer, no. son para pescar no. después. Uh -huh. Ah, cheque. I'm Bonnie Tappan. I'm a health volunteer with the Peace Corps. So you planted all of these flowers, you said? I planted all these flowers. I love these big leaf things. Yeah. That's Jurassic Park style. Yeah. So what do you what do you do mostly as a volunteer here? I started working with midwives. Okay. It's my first job, but then I've also done a lot of HIV AIDS work. Well, thanks for showing me your little garden. Your house is very beautiful, and thanks for letting me stay here. Thank you. 6.30 a.m., my earliest start, leaving Omoa. Shooting to get across the border. That way is Guatemala. Ooh, and that's looks like we got some roadkill there. Yeah. Pedal, 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 pedal. Isn't this a sad sight? Two doggies having some happy humpy time and they get stuck together. Aquí estamos en la frontera de Guatemala y Honduras y aquí estoy con algunos hermanos de Honduras, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué es lo que hacen aquí en la frontera? No, pues Cambiando nosotros les ganamos la vista, la, la vida. Sí. Cambiando dinero que sale por la empira. ¿Qué es lo, qué es lo más bueno de Honduras? El primer punto, las mujeres. Bellas. Este, tenemos buenas costas, como muy bonitas. Sí. Y Buenas nuestras islas. playas, nuestras islas, sí. por Seiba, Roatán. Sí. Buenos Eso paisajes. Es bueno sí. ¿Y qué tal la gente? Oh, la gente es muy buena allá por allá de otro lado. You know, God bless America y Honduras. And you take your home, this first Thursday in her. Sí, las voy a llevar a la USA, hombre. En Guatemala, there seem to be lots of bananas. Bananas everywhere. Come on, here, I'll show you. Bananas, 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 bananas. So now I'm at the port, getting ready to get a boat to Belize. Adios, amigos! Adios, Guatemala! How you doing? It's, it's a video camera, you can talk. How's it going? Talk some Creole for the camera. You understand that? No, I don't understand, but it's, it's, it's cool. Tell me what you're doing in Creole. Okay. I didn't make flower dirt, yeah. <laughs> All right. Is this, a, is this a Belizean specialty? Um, well, dirt, yeah, that way, Belizean, it's like bread. Do you understand what it is? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, um, Belizean doesn't eat much bread. Okay. This is what they eat for breakfast. For breakfast and supper. Okay. Ryan. For lunch, it's rice. Ryan. Ryan. Hola. How are you guys doing? Bye. So, do you think I'm crazy for riding my bike home to the United States? No. <laughs> okay, good. I appreciate that. No. Everybody else thinks I'm crazy. Some people think that way, but I don't think so. Oh, that's good. I think if if you want to do it, it's okay. All right. Thank you for the support. I appreciate <laughs> that. Because whatever you want in life, well, go ahead and do it. Some other people would say, oh, you're crazy, but that's what you want to do. Exactly. I like that. Over those jungle mountains is Guatemala. Here we have some Mennonites in the jungles of Belize. Here we are at the house of Wilbert. Yeah. How you doing, Wilbert? Fine. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Fine. Hello. What are you making? Frying fried banana. Oh. And what is your name? Nakawacha. 
My name is Maria. Oh, very pretty name. So what is life like here in this, this little village? How many people live here? 300. 300 people? Yeah. Oh, okay. And what do, what do most people do for work? Um, farming. Farming? Yeah. <laughs> We're going downhill here. Maybe not a great idea to hold the camera while I'm going downhill, but hey. Maybe it's not a great idea to ride my bike to America, huh? Just kidding. The sounds of the Belizean rainforest at nighttime. All right, so where are we? Boom. Boral Boom, what's your name? Indian. What are you up to today? I'm just kicking it me on my fat brother. Your fat brother? Brian. Yeah. Just kicking it. Wow, it sure is rainy here. Today was a long day, about 85 miles. I got rained on the entire time. I think the clouds are actually following me, waiting till I got dry and then raining on me again. Just at the moment I would get dry. And now I'm in some little village in the middle of nowhere that I had to hike my bike across the marshland to get to. But it was cool and it's worth it. Now I'm dry on a veranda. Almost to Corazal, which means almost to Mexico, baby. It sounds so good, I just want to go. ¿Cómo están? Hola amigo, ¿qué tal estás? Bien. Bien. De veras. ¿Qué vamos a comer esta noche? Frente. Así es, hombre. <laughs> es algo muy tradicional, ¿verdad? This is where I'm staying tonight, the Julia's guest house, and uh, it's cheap. That's why I chose it. I'm in room number two. This is my room. It's pretty big actually. I have room for my bike and all my stuff. And uh, that's my light bulb right there. I've got nice cardboard wood walls and I actually have a fan which is nice. Here I am leaving Belize, saying hello to Mexico and North America. So I've just crossed the border into Mexico. I'm now here, I'm feeling good. The people are already very welcoming. The road as you can see is Brand new, and I got a huge shoulder all to myself. Wouldn't mommy be happy to see this road? Her boy is safe. I don't really know where I'm gonna sleep today, but we'll find a nice spot. Okay, I'm here in the Yucatan Peninsula. My day one, things are going great. And then this falls off, and it won't go back on. This is my pedal, and it makes it a little bit hard to ride my bike when I can't use my pedal. Oh, man. Why did this have to happen? I guess it's all part of the adventure though. So, we'll see what we can do. Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? ¿También? Sí. Cheque, cheque. That's one pedal. There's the other pedal. I think I'm gonna ride with like this. See how it works. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? <laughs> Donde estamos? Francisco Villa. Francisco Villa. Y ustedes me rescataron. Muchas gracias. <laughs> ¿Y qué hace usted aquí? Yo aquí, pues trabajo en el campo, este, haciendo carbón, cortando leña, sembrando chile, maíz, frijoles. That's where I'm going to sleep tonight, under that little hut, right on the highway, with these nice people. Hola, perrito. It's quiet out here, isn't it? Came from that way. All the way down that little road. And I'm going 
all the way down that road. My pedal combination seems to be working. It's a relief because I was pretty damn worried. This is what we got going here. We got one of these and one of these. I found some big Mayan ruins right off the highway. I had to pay to get into these ones. This is an official spot and it's uh, called Shpuhil. And it's pretty impressive. And uh, there are no tourists here, which is a lot different than most of the mine sites I've been to here in Latin America. There's always tons of tourists everywhere. I am the only one here today, which is kind of cool. And you can see this big guy, you got towers back there. It's kind of cool, man. Today I'm off into the jungle. More jungle, more heat, more mosquitoes. But it's good, I like it. It's really, really cloudy and rainy and crappy. And I have 55 miles to go. Oh my god. I'll make it, baby. I'll make it. With a smile on my face, I will make it. Whew, okay. Today is a rough day. I've already gone 50 miles and it's only 11.40 in the morning. It's cloudy and drizzly and rainy. The road is narrow and there's lots of truckers. And, but I just stopped at this nice restaurant called Restaurant. Restaurant 223, that means 223 kilometers away from Villa Hermosa, and that's where I'm going. And I want to do it in two days. So today I have to go another 50 miles in order to get there in two days because I got my little friend Jeff waiting for me, and I'm already going to be late. So here's to another 50 miles in the afternoon. This is the color the skies have been all the way since Belize. And I've been told it's because of hurricanes. I'm soaking wet. 84.86 miles. Here's my bell. Still working. And here's me. Still rocking, baby. All right, I'm gonna put the camera away. It's getting wet. Bye bye. God bless the rains down in Mexico. Ooh, mama. I'm hiding under a bridge right now. But it doesn't help, but I'm still getting wet. This is what it looks like in this direction. Wow, man. Okay, today is ugly as fucking shit. I'm a little cranky, a little emotional, a little tender. A little tender, might bust at any moment. Woke up in Villa Hermosa this morning, ugliest fucking city I've ever been in. I thought that maybe I'd take today easy, but I am going as far as I can because I want to get to the beach. I am sick of the fucking Gulf Coast of Mexico. I am sick of the weather. All I want to do is meet Jeff and chill out on the beach. I've been going going strong here for two weeks now and I need a break. It is 4.30, I'm still on the road. The traffic is still rocking and rolling. Today my goal was to go 100 miles and I've just broken 100 miles on the odometer here. I will show you so you can see. Look at that, 100 miles. This is where I'll be staying tonight, beside a house on a highway. Found a nice guy to let me stay. There's all my stuff. The only problem is there's no roof, so hopefully it doesn't rain much. Hola, Maximino, ¿qué tal estás? Hola, aquí nomás, amigo, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal, qué tal? Usted es mi salvador hoy. ¿Por qué me rescató de la carretera? ¿Y qué hace usted aquí? Por aquí trabajando el blog. Sí, este hombre tiene músculos grandes. Sí, está gordo, pues. Sí, sí, enseñe la fuerza, hombre. ¿Y es buen negocio? Pues más o menos, no es negocio, pero para pasarlo. Uy, qué interesante. ¿Y ustedes hicieron todos estos bloques hoy? Todo hoy. Ok, this is a very big moment. I have finally gotten on my highway 185. That means I'm heading towards the Pacific. Pacific Ocean, baby. That means I'm heading towards Jeff. 
I woke up to rain this morning. It scared me a little bit, but it hasn't, hasn't been rainy since, and I've been rolling. Things are going great. I'm in this cute little town, just did some internet, ate some good tamales, had some good conversation. I'm feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday. So here we are. Here we are. Cheers to getting to the Pacific Coast. It's Sunday morning here, October 9th. And I'm loving this ride, baby. Ryan loves downhill. Who loves downhill? Ryan does. Ryan does. Ladies and gentlemen, just as I had thought, I turned the corner, and there it is, baby, the Pacific Ocean. I've been waiting for this for so long. Hola, buenas tardes, ¿cómo están? I'm bien. Bien, ¿y, y bien. usted? Bien. ¿Y qué es lo que venden ustedes? ¿Y qué piensan de mi viaje a los Estados Unidos en bicicleta? Es muy duro. ¿Sí? Sí. Duro, pero es una buena aventura. Sí. Y puedo conocer buena gente como ustedes. ¿Qué es el tomate en inglés? Tomate, tomato. Muchacho. Muchacho, muchacho, boy. Chaparro, short. Short, ¿Quién es, ¿quién es Chaparro, pues? Este, él es Chaparro, ¿va? ¿eh? ¿Y qué hacen aquí ustedes con su tiempo libre? Jugar. ¿Jugar? Y hacer nuestras tareas. I turn the corner and who do I find? Jeff Gibbon. Wow, what are you doing here, Jeff? I don't know. I just uh, thought I would take a little vacation and bring my bike down to... Your uh, bike? I'm, uh, I'm thinking I found this rascally dozer just happened to run into him. Wow. So what are the chances? I, one in the, a Googleplex, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, man. I was very grateful that Jeff came all the way down to Mexico and met me. He is one of my absolute best friends and my only friend who I knew that I could call on to join me and not think that this adventure was a crazy idea. Jeff is one of those guys who is always down for a good time, and we always manage to get ourselves into trouble. The good kind of trouble. Life's pretty good right now. All right, baby. Might be eating my words here in the next you know, couple of months, but uh, for right now, life is excellent. No, life will always be good. It'll just get a little bit harder. That is a good way of looking at it. There's my beach, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to speak quietly because Jeff is still sleeping. It's about 7.30, October 13th, and uh, life is good, baby. I just went swimming, it was fun. And so stage one of the ride, I think, has come to an end. Getting to Jeff. Now it's Jeff and Ryan all the way back to America. It's going to be amazing. Puerto Escondido, October 14th, 2005. How are you feeling, Jeff? I took a little nap and I'm feeling great now. Yeah. I'm still a little, little groggy though. Okay, we don't want that. A little tired. So yeah. just shake it off, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> How's how are the legs feeling? It was our first day riding together. How are these babies doing, huh? Oh, they did good today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. We, we feel great. We feel yeah. real good, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, we're, we're thinking that, that maybe uh, Ryan has got this, um, you know, like 100 mile a day thing going on here. And uh, and it, so today we get here and, and Ryan says, Whew, I feel great. That was a nice, easy little jaunt in the woods. And, and I'm thinking, yeah, me too. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> and so I'm thinking that, uh, that Ryan's in better shape than me at this point. And we should go ahead and film this belly. Okay. All right, Maxi Poo, you see that belly? It's not gonna be here for very long. We're gonna take care of that, aren't we? Yeah. Like you see how it jiggles just a little bit? Like you can hit it from the back and jiggles. <laughs> Good morning, Jeffrey. 
Hi, how, Ryan. How you feeling? I feel good. Oh, hello, Mr. Camera. Palm tree view. Hola, niña, ¿qué tal estás? <laughs> bien, bien. Hola. ¿Y qué están haciendo aquí? Pescado. Pescado frito. Uh. Digo, aquí está su casa, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, esta es mi casa. ¿Sí? Muy bien. Y el techo está a prueba de agua. Ah. No es para que entre agua. Entonces, Vicente, ¿y tu hermano se va hoy para los Estados Unidos? Sí, así es, se va a Estados Unidos. ¿Y por qué no va conmigo? Eh, porque sería muy tardado. Sí, ¿no? mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí. Y es su primera vez en... Su primera vez. De ver. Sí. Ajá. ¿Y por qué se va a los Estados Unidos? Pues porque aquí este, está más difícil la vida. Sí. Está más difícil y bueno, dicen que es mejor allá. ¿no? Es por eso de, 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 del dinero que... Sí. Y hay mucha gente de aquí mexicana trabajando allá y, y casi no hay trabajo. Pero estás preocupado por tu hermano entonces. Pues sí, no, pues no quisiéramos que se fuera. O nos quisiéramos ir todos con él. Sí. Hi Jeff. Hello Ryan. What's up today? Oh, we're at a beautiful beach here. Really nobody here. Just us. We're gonna camp out here tonight. Okay, so today I'm saying goodbye to my biking shorts. Yesterday they did me wrong yesterday. You see here, we've got this really, really nasty, and it opened up, and so this seam right here has now made a seam on my ass. Are you gonna show us your butt? No, I won't show you my ass. I'll save you that. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty gnarly. <laughs> oh, look at the poor cow. It's not a cow, it's a donkey. <laughs> it's a donkey. <laughs> and there's a... <laughs> Look at his big ass donkey balls! If De you poked him with a stick, they would explode. Jeff, so you rode, you rode by and you just started laughing, huh? No, I mean, I don't think that death is funny, but when you die with a boner and if you're exposed to the road and everybody sees you as you go by, I mean, that's funny. That's a good way to go. Yeah. Sorry, donkey. May your boner rest in peace, buddy. <laughs> Hello, Jeff Wee. Hi, Ryan. Where are we? Uh, we are in Acapulco. We are on the road to Omaha. Go, man, go. I have no battery. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. One minute of battery, man, go! Woo! Yeah! There you have it, I came to Acapulco, I saw the cliff divers, and I'm a happy man. Now all, all I need to see in the world is to see, I want to see the temples of Egypt, or the pyramids of Egypt, and a couple other things. There's the balloon man. We're a little bit tired today. We parted till four in the morning, but it's nine, and I got four good hours of sleep. Acapulco. Here. We've got about another week of beach. A little God, less, a little we less. Love beach. We love the beach. We're gonna love the interior, but God, we love the beach. Yep, we do. My poor little bike, broken on the highway. This guy is on it, this guy is quick. ¿Qué tal, Alan? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué vamos a hacer hoy? Vamos a arreglarle el rayo que se le rompió. Let's see. Es esta. Ah, muy bien. El campeón de México, aquí arreglando mi llanta. <risa> ¿Y por cuánto tiempo has tenido este taller? 
10 años. ¿10 años? ¿De veras? ¿Y por qué te gusta el ciclismo? Es tu pasión. ¿Sí? Sí. Es lo que digo yo, es parte de mi cuerpo. Oh, that was amazing! Once again, we get trapped in a nice beach town. We were going to leave today, weren't we? Yeah, we were going to go somewhere. Where are we going to put the camera? Right here. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't get much of us. We are too bad. It's so strong. <laughs> Look at us. Look at these muscles we have. We've just become such big, strong German you men. See my butt? You can't We're so run. big and German. It's too big for you. It might <laughs> knock you over backwards. But yes, we are so sexy now. Look at this. We are all tan on our shoulders. Yeah, we're so tan and we're so oily. It's so nice, you know. You hear that sound, the squeak? That's the sound of a tortilla. Right there, baby. We're going to go film some tortillas being made. I got the first kilo out of that machine today, and I'm feeling pretty excited about that. So let's try them out. All right, one kilo, seven pesos. They're hot to the touch, out of the, fresh out of the machine. Mmm. Oh man, that is so good. That is pure Mexico, baby. Pure corn tortilla. Let's see another good bite. Mmm. There goes Jeffrey. That camera can't pick up like the smells. Yeah. Because the smells of Mexico is this sort of rich, sort of fragrance of uh, burning trash and leaves. And poo poo. And poo poo. And meat. And meat. Yeah. And, all, and just an amazing smells, a combination of smells that are in the, in the air around every major town. And that's how you know you're in. Central America is when you smell that. Oh. Oh. Time videotaping everybody running around with your little camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. It is fun. Okay, so it's evening. It's about 6 p.m. here in beautiful Sea Watsonejo, and I tell Jeff I'm gonna go take a little walk down to the pier and just sit there. And while I'm sitting there, I notice that my wounds are bleeding a lot more. And I've had these wounds for a while now. We don't really know what they are. I'm sitting there and I'm looking that it's bleeding, and then I see that there's a little something poking its head in and out of the hole. So, right. I have um, something living in these little wounds. I don't think it can focus that close. Yeah, but, it can, actually. Oh, yeah? Is that little white thing in there? See oh, yeah. There? Come on, buddy. Stick your head out. Yeah. Oh, so you go in. Come out. Oh. oh, there it went. See that? There, it's come back out. We don't know what that is, but we're going to pull on it. Both holes are... Sh they're showing evidence of little giving, worms. Giving birth. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So now we know that they weren't just mosquito bites. There was something a little bit more, something a little extra. He knows we're trying to get him. Yeah, he does. He's a little freaked out. <laughs> what are you doing with that? I'm right? sticking this and sticking it in the hole in my arm. Uh -huh. And it goes in pretty deep. <laughs> Deeper than I thought it would. So see if you can get this. So this just looks like a mosquito bite, but this thing goes in a good, oh, it goes pretty far in there. Oh, God, this is gross. Yeah, whatever's in there doesn't want to come out. Not yet, at least. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how beautiful it is on this Friday, or um, to Wednesday afternoon. And Jeff, what do you have in your hand? I have a glass of rum. Mmm. Strong enough to kill me, 
definitely strong enough to kill your little worms. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. So we're, we're, what we're gonna try to do is pour rum in the in the in the in little the wounds, hoping that they will crawl out. We're yep. And uh, some guys downstairs said that there's a this this sometimes happens, and and people they open up the hole and like it's just all these worms come out. Oh really? So yeah, we're thinking that might be the case. Oh yeah. Somebody's coming out tonight. Somebody wants to come out to daddy. It might take a while. We'll get back to you, Mr. Camera. All right, so I'm feeling a little dizzy. This kind of stuff is usually a little bit hard on me. Um, we didn't succeed. The rum didn't seem to pull it out. Um, I've been sticking this in and out of there, but those worms don't want to come out yet. There's still some growing to do. It's, it's night here in Siwatanejo, and so there's we need to enjoy you know, the beauty of it, not sit here and, and pull worms out of my arms. So, no, it's kind of gross. Yeah, it's kind of gross. It's a downer. <laughs> so let's go, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? I'm doing super, Ryan. Yeah, and why is that? Well, I'm sitting on the beach again, and uh, this is going to be the last beach that we're going to go to for the rest of this trip. So we decided that we'd indulge, and uh, we got ourselves some pina coladas here. Our first to... mixed drinks of the trip. Okay, this is a big moment. It's October 29th. It's Logan's birthday. We have just gotten off Highway 200, the coastal highway, and we are heading inland. And we're going to be inland for the rest of the ride. And we've just walked our bikes through the toll station because shh, we're not allowed to be on the toll roads. And we're heading for Dia de los Muertos. There's the billboard right there. Oh yeah, we're going to Pazcuaro, 240 kilometers away. Yeah, boy! And we're gonna camp right here alongside the road. Right next to this big cactus. We've got this nice hill to block us from the highway. Deadly looking gigantic wasp that will not leave my hand of ours. Look how big that thing is. Everybody who knows me knows that I'm a wuss around these kind of things, so I don't really I don't quite know what to do here to get to get going because he won't leave. I think he's sucking all the sweat off my bike. We've got the Denver Broncos on our very own TV, baby. They just whooped Philadelphia's butt. And Jeff and I have found a love shack. We have a peacock on the door. Jeff's in there bathing with hot water. We've got mirrors all around. Huge king size bed and another bed for the kitties. We're gonna eat some avocados. That's right, we're, ow! And Jeff just took a nice shower. How are you feeling, buddy? Oh God, hot water, dude. That's the first time in two and a half weeks. Woo, I'm happy for you. I haven't done it in two and a half years. <laughs> dude, just get ready, it itches your skin. Hi, Jeff. I have put money. Here we are with a bunch of drunken revelers. Dia de los Muertos, November 1st, 2005. Here we are 
Aaron. Irapuato. Irapuato. And, uh, you know, we weren't really quite expecting to be here, but we saw the sign. Ooh, the birds just flew away. We saw the road sign, and it said, World Capital of Strawberries. Look at this. We just got some strawberries and cream. Jeff, are you liking that? I love strawberries, and uh, yeah. here we are, the world capital of strawberries. World capital of strawberries. What are we doing? Uh, eating we're strawberries. We're eating strawberries. We each got one of these each. Gorging is the name of the game here on this ride. Burn the calories and eat them up again. Yeah. We look pretty good. We just took showers. Yep. Clean. We look good, man. It's the Cheetos Olympics. Let's see if we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, come on and up the top. He's throwing them somewhere. He's throwing them to Cheeto heaven. So we just spent about a half an hour eating some good chili rellenos, right Jeff? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah? They're pretty good. And guess what? The, chili, the, the Cheeto Olympics are still going on. Let's, let's, let's check in right now. He's got good form. He's stepping back. He's getting a good grip on the bag. One, two, three. Oh, that's the best one yet. He is the champion Cheeto thrower. Okay, this is a big Friday night. I'm here. I almost forgot to do this. I went to the market today and got a little piece of meat. I don't eat this meat because I'm a vegetarian. This meat is for the bot fly. We're going to see if we can tape it on my arm here, one of these damn bumps, and get the bot fly to come out into the meat because it loves the meat. So we're going to give it the meat treatment tonight and see what happens. Give it the meat. <laughs> Guanajuato! Ah. Look at all those cool houses on the hill. Ooh. I'll get out of the way. Oh. Hello, Jeffrey! Hello, Ryan! How are you doing? We're listening to mariachis. And we're be floating in the sky. Ooh. Mariachi, mariachi. Hello, Mr. Corona. How are you? Family size Corona. Enough beer for one doozer. We worked hard to get here. Yeah, we did. And now we're here, and we are very happy that we're here. Yeah, we are. Hey, look, it's Jeff, and he's eating again. We're eating a fruit platter, and we're hanging out at a posh restaurant here in downtown Guanajuato. Guanajuato. We're not leaving here, are we? No, we're going to be here for a couple of days, so we're yeah. just kind of really absorbing it and taking it all in. This is one area of the world where bikes go faster than cars. Here we are in the bike shop, getting my bike fixed once again. Tonight we find ourselves in the driving, or parking, where's this, garage of the town, um, the town mayor's office. Hola amigos, como estamos? Bien. ¿A dónde estamos? ¿Cómo se llama este pueblo? La punta. Oh, mira, qué alto. <laughs> Excelente. Mira, 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 mira. <laughs> Here we are, Zacatecas State. It's turned into desert, man. We're going up to 2,500 kilometers or 2,500 meters above sea level today. We've already climbed a big mountain, just come back down one. I think we're going to have to go back up another one somewhere around here. So we made it to Zacatecas, a little bit of uphill riding, 2,500 meters. We might actually be a little bit higher here where we are right now. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> we got, we're got we just camping out here in Zacatecas, Nothing, you know, just something 
normal. It's just normal, just normal camping out. Don't mind us, we're just gonna throw our tents on top of your roof where there's the best view of the entire city. Oh yeah? Um, yeah, we'll just throw our tents up here, no big deal. Oh yes, look where we are. <laughs> we're on top of a very tall building. Make sure you don't uh, fall off the edge though. Yeah. That's the one rule, being up here, is we can't get too drunk. Yes, because the edge is right here. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty big, pretty far. It's, it freaks me out just to even go near there. <laughs> okay, this is the tent, this is Jeff. Mm -hmm. That is death. <laughs> Aquí estamos con los payasos de México, ¿cómo estamos hoy? Saludos a Colorado! Sí, Colorado! Saludos a Bush! Ah, no, saludos, no, a Bush, no. Pinche Bush! Pinche Bush, es cierto. <laughs> Here we are, sitting on the roof, enjoying the sky and the sounds of the churches on a nice Sunday morn. Riding our bikes back to Boulder. We're loving it, life is good. Life is beautiful. Lots of avocados. Lots of avocados. Looking at the clouds, watching them float uh, on by. Kind of like what we do on our bikes. That's right, we float on by. On a cushion of air on our tires. Yeah. So we've gone, let's see, I've gone about, oh, how long have I gone? Maybe about 2,300 miles, 2,500 maybe? It's pretty damn far, Dazer. And Jeff's gone? 1,200 or so. Something like that. And looking on the map, we have lots of straight roads in front of us. Very straight. Heading north. Now we are on the road to Boulder. Yeah. Before we were just dicking around in Mexico, now we're... We're, we're moving. Yeah, we're moving north, Mom, so we'll be home soon, don't worry. Yeah. The heavens above. It's, believe it or not, it's the same sky as over Boulder. Yeah. Same sun. And it helps to actually ride your bike there, because when you get in a plane, you kind of sort of like go through this like warp, this time warp, and you sort of like get in this capsule, and then you know, you get zipped to somewhere else, and you reappear, and you're not even sure if you're on the same planet, really. Yeah. When you ride your bike, you know that you never went through any warp because it's painstaking the whole way. Yeah, there is no, we don't go warp speed on the bikes. No, there's zero warpage. Maybe I've gone warp speed once. You warp somewhere? I warp speed once going down a big mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Grande, Mexico. <laughs> Make you happy, Star. That's right, baby. Ow, 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 ow. This is no ordinary gas station. It is also a zoo. We have peacocks running around here. Look at the wild peacock as he walks behind the bush, trying to get away from the evil mekin. Hello, little buddy. Show the public how you do this, here. Well, first, we like to take our gloves off. Yeah. Then you slaver a little bit in there. Okay, you know, yeah. Get a good amount on there. You get a good amount on there. <laughs> Sometimes in the front way, <laughs> but today I'm going to go in from the back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Today we've been riding forever. This is the never-ending day. It's already five o'clock. Oh, and we don't know where we're gonna end up. We're looking for a city called Cuenca May. We think it exists. We hope that it exists. We're really, really hungry. Our legs are a little bit tired. 
But man, it is beautiful out here in the desert. Yes, sorry. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing over there? Just hanging out in bed. Uh, I had some good dreams, but about 1 o'clock in the morning, maybe 12 o'clock at night, these, uh, these damn roosters started up. And uh, I spent the next five hours just wishing I had a shotgun so I could go murder them all. Oh, Jeff, Quakers don't talk like that. <laughs> I don't understand how you get to raise co cocks for fighting and run a hotel at the same time. You would think that your guests would complain about all the roosters. But Only Americans complain. Mexicans love noise. They sleep better with noise. <laughs> Why'd you wake my friend Jeff up, hmm? Why'd you wake Jeff up? And what's the name of your hotel? Uh, hotel Cuencame. Ah, okay. Hotel Cuencame in Durango, Mexico. I got those vitamins. Oh, yeah? This is Gaggi Forte. Oh, look at that, to make them all pissed off and angry. That's how they get some condition, you know? Yeah. In case the fight gets longer, yeah. you prepare for it, you know? How, how long do the fights usually last? It lasts. It lasts 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Do you have names for these guys? Yeah, this is the uh, devil. Pretty. The devil? <laughs> <laughs> now we do this so they can stand up, you know, when they fall down. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, he's good. Is this guy your best one? <clears throat> yeah, he's, this one has been winning three times. Really? Yeah. Wow. And how much money can you make doing this? It all depends on <clears throat> you spend a lot of money on it. Yeah. But it's, it's a hobby. It's a yeah. yeah. It's sport. I, I, I like to play and uh, I just love it. Yeah. 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 And how many people come to a cockfight? About uh, 200. 200? And they're all screaming and yelling yeah, and, yeah, and drinking. <laughs> drinking. <laughs> and <clears throat> yeah. What's the most amount of money you ever won? We won at. Uh, 60,000 pesos on a derby. Really? Yeah. Damn. So you make more money on the hotel or the cockfights? It's pretty even. <laughs> <laughs> it goes like this. And then it is ready to fight. It goes around here. Couple, wow. couple eights, you know. Yeah. Get yeah, make, make it, Are there rules on these? How they can, how long they can be and how sharp they yeah, can be? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is a rule. There is a scale where it, it has three points, you know. You cannot pass that. Oh, okay. If you you agree with the other guy, one line or two lines yeah. lower or, or higher, it all depends who you agree with the guy or not. Wow. You, know, you, know? you think the roosters know that they have this killer weapon and they they yeah, know they, they know how to use it. Oh, oh yeah, they know it. This is the Grand Derby in Agosto, Torreon. Uh huh. Okay. That's in Toronto. Absolutely. I brought this soap all the way from Honduras. It's good Honduran soap. It's it is that the only thing you're carrying that really is from Honduras? It's, it's the only thing I have left from Honduras is this soap. Oh, yeah. So so sentimental. It's gonna last you though. It's yeah, gonna last, last you pretty good. Going into my laundry room. And what we got here is um, we got the shower going. We got my clothes down there. And what I'm gonna do, you know, is just get down here, rub the soap on. Like that, and then take it, oh yeah, and you just hang it up, and boom, stinky sweaty socks be gone. Would you ever want a clock with six scorpions on it? I don't know. So here we are, another day, another can of beans. Another can of beans. Let's see. Today we got the good can. It's the La Sierra, 35% more for the same price. We've got our avocados over here. 
Got some tomatoes. It's November 17th and we're leaving Cuenca May. Oh, it's a sad day to say goodbye to such a nice little town. We thought we were going to stay one night, but we stayed two. Hey, look! It's Jeff! So on this year bike trip, we've had plenty of time to think because uh, we've been walking for a long time <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere. And it's fun to be able to think about all the childhood memories, think about our parents and our grandparents. And it's really, it's really, we're pretty lucky to be able to be able to do this. And, uh, reminisce about all the good things about life and also get excited about the things that are in front of us. We're gonna keep on making good memories there Jeff. We are that's that's the plan is uh, you know we're only uh, 27 26 years old I figure that we've got a lot of life ahead of us oh, and, yeah, uh, we do, boy. and if it's it's and if it's anywhere as good as life's been so far then uh, we're gonna we're gonna be old men with really happy memories. Yes we will be. In the desert there is no water, except for right here. It's actually, it's holy water. Oh, it's holy water. That's right. It's holy water. Well, in that case, we should we should. Here, can you splash a little bit on my, my helmet? There we go. We're gonna put some on your bot we're, flies. We're gonna yeah, put some holy water on the bot flies. Holy water on the bot. Flies. Thanks, man. Oh yeah. Don't it's either gonna infect them severely or get rid of them. We'll see. We've been riding for a couple thousand miles. Our legs are doing great. Legs are doing great, but the arms are getting a little weak. So we're gonna. I'm going to show you how to do some arm exercises while riding the bike. Oh yeah, one, and two, and three, and four. And you get your arms built up lickety splickety. And it's good for the pectorals too. It's real good for the pectorals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today is the first day we've been messed with on the toll roads. Up until now we've gotten everywhere we've ever wanted to go on these toll roads. No questions asked. But today, two times we got stopped and denied from getting on the toll roads. So we did something about it. Jeff, show the public what we've done about it. This is what we've done about it. See, if you look at this, it's uh, yep. nice, it's laminated, you know, bop, bop. What official. Mexicans want is an official document. This, this and that's what we made. This is what we have. This Here. is official. It uh, has the, uh, the Mexican flag, the yep. American flag. The U.S. Embassy and oh, yeah. the Mexican Embassy. The Mission on. Security Force pulled all these good things off the internet. This Thank God for internet. Pictures of us riding together, as as you will see us when we're coming into the cassette. It the says, program. cruising, uh, crossing the Republic in bike. Jeff Giffen, Ryan Van Duzer, approved by the American and Mexican Embassy. Oh yeah. Please do not charge them on the highways. They are raising money for orphans. It's not totally a lie. We. Actually, yeah, no. Ryan is selling some shirts. Yeah, I'm raising he's money. He's going to contribute all the money to his kids in uh, Los Santa. <coughs> yep. Now, they may not be orphans, but they, they are kids. <laughs> they are kids. And they're poor. Yeah. And, and we are giving them some money, so this is not totally a lie. Yeah, no, not at all. And it's, I mean, the whole approved by the embassy thing, yeah, that's a lie, but. It was quiet out here. What happened? <laughs> Jeff, are you peeing again? This is the most desolate road in the desolate part of the country. All I can hear is the sound of my flags. We are on this road and there is nobody here. Nobody. We've been passed by like five cars and we've been riding for half an hour. Nobody can hear me! <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. This is the silent zone. You have to be very quiet here. This is where we're staying tonight, Friday. This town's not even on the map or didn't have a doesn't have a sign for this town. It's called Las Marias. Little puppy. Hey little puppy. Hey little puppy. Hey buddy. How you doing? How you doing, puppy? Hola. <laughs> ¿Qué tal están ustedes? Muy bien. Muy tímida, ¿no? Sí, muy tímida. Sí, está bien. Muchas gracias para la comida y, y todo. Ustedes muy buena gente. Sí, sí. This is really 
really quite amazing what we're doing here. We're having a lot of fun. We get a little uncomfortable every now and then. We get a little tired. We get a little cranky. But overall, baby, this is quite amazing. And we're loving it, right, Jeff? Ain't that, ain't that so? Another day on the lonely road. Hola, amigo! Hola! Hey, adios! This is a big moment here. Bienvenidos a Chihuahua, the big state. This is our last Mexican state. To the normal person, that is a gas station sign. But to me, it means cookies. All I see are cookies when I see that sign. Cookies! All these donuts look so good. And I dream about them all day long. This is our favorite right here at La Siena. We're always eating this all the way from uh, Oaxaca North. We, this yeah. is the brand we, we choose, our favorite. La Sierra beans, this is what we live on. About two cans of these a day, baby. <laughs> and, and about a hundred farts, too. Yeah, we get, we get a little party after eating. Mucho, mucho pedos. Yeah, these are good, these are good beans. So if you guys ever come to Mexico, get La Sierra beans. Old dusty highway down. Yeah! The dry mountains of Chihuahua. We are on the side of the road, 50 kilometers away from Chihuahua. I left Esperanza over two months ago. And today I get my first flat tire. Whammy. That's pretty amazing that it's gone this far. That's actually a flatty, not a whammy. Yeah, that's a flatty right there. We made it to Chihuahua. Chihuahua, Chihuahua, Chihuahua. Or in English, Chihuahua. It's been, uh, it's been a few months since I've gotten my hair cut and it's really long right here and just shaggy and I don't like it so we're going to go in here in Chihuahua to get my hair cut so I look nice for Thanksgiving which is tomorrow. Look at that nice tan line on the side of Ryan's face. Isn't that sexy? <laughs> oh, I think she's doing a bang up job. Yeah. Dudes are flirting with the barber. That's right, man. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. And look what we did! We got two big beers. Happy Thanksgiving to you! We got a TV, we're gonna watch some football later. We got two big pizzas, yummy. Look how happy we Yummy. And we got one of these. Kawama. Kawama. In honor of Thanksgiving, I haven't had a beer in a long time, so. I'm on antibiotics right now as well. So, <laughs> hey, cheers to Thanksgiving. And getting fucked. We love life. We're thankful for life. We're thankful for all the good things that have come our way and will come our way. Jeff. And, and many, many more. All right, this is a big morning. This is the biggest shopping day of the year. Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. And I just had a solid poop. I just wanted to share that with everybody out there. And, uh, it's more like soft serve ice cream. You can check it out right there. I've had diarrhea for far too long. Every morning I've been waking up and exploding. Boom, boom, diarrhea. And I'm feeling better. So hopefully we're going in the right direction. This is a new acquisition here. This is a wool hat. Because it's cold up here in the north. It's Sunday and it's windy. We're going to see how this, this wind affects us out here on the desert. We woke up and it was just all rowdy, windy all around us here in Chihuahua. We've been here for four days and this is the first windy day. Oh, wind, wind! Ah! What's Jeff doing? Looks like the wind has caused an accident and there's a giant backup. And when I see stuff like this, it makes me want to ride extra careful because accidents do happen. 
We've seen about 15 police cars, tons of ambulances. It's gotta be something big up here. It's so windy that we're riding on this dirt road here. <clears throat> the highway, we keep getting blown off the highway. It's just not very safe. This is just not very fun right now. Okay, today is the first day that the elements have beat us. We cannot go any further. This wind is way too strong. It's kicking up sand and dust and it's blowing across the road. We can't even stay on the road. We're getting dirt in our teeth, dirt in our eyes. It's, the, the sand is whipping against our arms. So we made a whopping 40 kilometers today. We were hoping to go about 120. Um, luckily we found a nice farm to stay at. These guys are cool. They're gonna let us camp out back. This is where we're gonna sleep, right here. We got some of protection here. How you feeling, Jeff? Uh, I'm feeling good. All right. I'm just glad that we're gonna have a nice place to, you know, set up our tents out of the wind a little bit. It is now Monday morning, and it's a totally different world. Let's see what way the wind is blowing today. Oh, there's no wind at all. I think we're gonna be cruising today. Look at my flags. Not even blowing. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. This wind is a pain in the ass. So here I am in a town on the map that's called El Sueco, which means the Swede, how fitting. I wouldn't call it a town, it's more of a gas station and a restaurant. But this is where we are, and we met some nice people, and they're gonna let us stay in their room with them because it is freezing cold and windy. And they're letting me make my own burrito. Woo! Friendly. It's good. Ah, another burrito. Another, another burrito. Woo oh yeah, I love and beans. I'm just gonna slap that on there. Okay, so it's the next morning. We're here with Rigo. Thanks for letting us stay yeah, at, your, at your Sueco. You're, You're the best man in the world. <laughs> Thank you. The morning light on our way to Juarez. Hey, look, it's Jeff taking a photo. Hi, Jeff taking a photo. How you doing? You look bundled up, man. What's the deal? Well, it's just a little bit cold. <laughs> Hello. It's great light. You look good. You look real nice. Well, this is our last little glimpse of Mexico. Yeah. Um, we're going to have about four hours of it, but uh, it's going to be over soon, and, and then New Mexico is going to look totally different, I'm sure. Yeah. La gente nos han tratado muy bien. A veces nos dan posada, a veces nos dan comida. Uh, hemos Bueno, con, conociendo bastantes personas muy amables, no hemos tenido ningún problema y todo, todo va muy bien ahora. Y estamos, bueno, muy felices, pero hoy es un poco triste por, porque es el último día del viaje. Vamos a entrar a los Estados Unidos hoy. Here we are in the deserts outside of Juarez, eating our last meal. Jeff, what are you eating there? Wow, that's pretty good. The sand dunes outside Juarez. I was told this is where they filmed Conan. Jeff, we have about 15 kilometers left in Mexico. What do you think? Oh, I think that Mexico has been excellent so far. And, and uh, this gives us only 15 more kilometers to potentially get hit by a Jesus-loving bus driver. Yeah. If that does not happen, then knock on some metal. Yeah. That has uh, been one heck of a good trip through Mexico. That's right, baby. So here we go. I'm going to go change in these pesos for some American dollars. It's time to go home. So I just turned in that money, and I got myself 20, 40, 51 dollars and two cents. Wow. Yes. What are you, that's more money than you've had in a long time. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Let's go cross the border. You're going to miss the fruit, Ryan? I'm going to miss those fruit, guys. Adios, <laughs> amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios. Adios. 
Adios! <laughs> All right, now we're on the street. We're on the Where street. does this street go, Ryan? We are going to El Paso, Texas. You can see it straight ahead. Here we are, taking the bridge. There's the Rio Grande, baby. <clears throat> Adios, amigo. There's El Paso. There's Mexico. So this sucker just got me into the States, no problem. The guy barely even looked at it. Yeah. He said, well, how long have you been traveling? And I said, two months. He says, holy shit. The nice big black guy, he said we couldn't film, so I'm trying to reenact what he just said. It was so cool, he was so chill. Welcome back to America, he said. All right. I've been waiting a long time for this moment, two months. It's time to put the American flag on the flagpole. We've got Honduras, we've got Guatemala, we've got Belize. We've got Mexico. Oh, oh, yeah. America. America, I'm back. I'm back, America, yeah. This is pretty exciting. We have Simpsons back in English. Homer speaking the language he's supposed to speak. Not dubbed into Spanish. So Jeff and I did a lot of shopping today. We just rode our bikes all around El Paso. And we got some great stuff. Like, check out these. Nice long tights, baby. Those are just sexy, sexy. <laughs> and then I got something even more sexy. Look at this sweatshirt. I found this one in the hunting section. Ryan has a do don't hit me sweatshirt now. It's a, it's a don't hit me sweatshirt. It couldn't be any more orange, any more fluorescent. This goes outside all the everything else to, so everybody sees me. And then I went to a sporting goods store and got a little sleeping bag. It's polar fleece, baby. I'm so soft. And then I got some stretchy gloves to stay warm. Then I got some wool socks. And I got these nice red pants at a Goodwill, two dollars. And I got this new army shirt, also two dollars. Ryan just exploded the second one. And I it, just, you know, there's, there's a ladies and gentlemen, like on the wall. It's like stuck on the wall. There we have the bot fly. I think it's the dead bot fly. Oh, <laughs> grody! That just flew thing. out of my <laughs> arm. <laughs> went everywhere. Wow. And we rode by this place and it said four dollars all you can eat pizza. So here we are, tons of video games, plate full of pizza. We're pretty psyched. All you can eat baby. Yeah! Oh it is beautiful ladies and gentlemen. If only every Saturday morning could be like this. Stop! It's not windy enough for you. Ah, oh, there you go. Keep going. Woo! Tumbleweed, 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 go! Hi, Jeff. Hello. And crown thy good with brotherhood. It doesn't get any more American than this. American flag and cotton fields. Here we have Jeff in thermal hot springs here in truth or consequences, New Mexico. Jeff, how's the water? Mm. It's getting warmer and warmer to the point where I can't even sit in it for a little while. Yeah? Wow. We've been uh, looking for hot springs ever since Aguas Calientes yeah. in uh, Mexico and now we finally got some. This is the view from inside my tent here in truth or consequences. Camped out right next to the Rio Grande. There's Jeff all hidden in his bamboo forest. <laughs> Arr, I am Jeff of the jungle. That's right, man. Wake up, Jeffrey! Okay, the sun's getting very low on the horizon. It's been windy, 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 and cold, cold, cold since noon. And uh, we're pretty tired. I'd say this is, this is one of the more tough days we've had. But uh, definitely the coldest day, a, a biting cold that just rips at us all day long. Whee! And here we are on I-25. Who would have thought that we'd be riding our bikes on I-25? What does the I stand for? Interstate. Usually you can't ride on those, but here you can. We love New Mexico. But back behind that, the colder air is going to push on in, and we actually have a chance for, it looks like, uh, a bit of an Arctic air mass. Okay, This is a step colder than what we've seen so far. All right, so it's... Uh, <clears throat> 
pretty damn cold out here. We've got a wind chill of less than 10 degrees and it's about 20 degrees total. We're here in Socorro, Albuquerque, heading to Albuquerque. No, we're in Socorro, New Mexico, heading to Albuquerque. And uh, we're pretty excited. We had a nice warm hotel room. We slept well. We had a good big buffet breakfast, so we're ready to rock and roll. But it's cold. Today was the first day I mentioned to Jeff that this isn't very fun. <laughs> this is not fun. But is it fun now? It is fun now. Yeah. But uh, even though I'm from Colorado and everybody's like, oh, you're from Colorado, you're used to the cold. You're a gringo. That's, that's a bunch of crap because I don't like the cold. <laughs> Here we go, December 8th, cover of the newspaper in the Albuquerque Journal, Deep Freeze. Oh man, we're in for it. We're leaving on our bikes today. That's gonna be us. It's gonna be us, all bundled up. <laughs> it's not so bad, you say? How many layers do we have on today, Jeff? Oh boy, okay, well let's see, we're starting on the feet. We got the, um, we got wool socks. Okay. We got biking shoes. We got these nice, new, warm neoprene booties All that right, I got. Good. Keep my feet warm. And we got the neck warmer right here. It's gonna right. keep my nose warm when we're, when we're riding. How you feeling, Nikolai? Are you excited about coming with us today? I've been drinking whiskey all night. <clears throat> all right, man. <laughs> you're the first ride along we've had, and this is the worst conditions we've ever had, so you're a true champion. <laughs> and what do you think, Nina, about all this? I think you guys are nutso. Yeah? I'm gonna go back in the warm house and cuddle under a blanket. Oh, that sounds good. Ha. <laughs> ah. But it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. It's sunny Albuquerque day. We still have all of our digits. That's right. How are you feeling? I feel cold, but I feel good. Frozen water. Frozen. Damn. But you know what? I'd rather drink frozen water than be at work right now. So. That's right. Wait for the camera, Jeff. Oh, that's nice. Hello. My name is Ryan. I've been riding my bike for a long time. And tomorrow. We ride into Colorado. I've been looking forward to going back to Colorado for a long time now. I think I'm ready. I think it was a good decision to ride my bike home. Definitely. I would not have been able to make the transition from ending Peace Corps going straight back into Colorado. So it was good two months to clear my mind and ride my bike and have a good time. Oh yeah. Welcome to colorful Colorado. Wow, 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 wow. The Rocky Mountains. Oh, I love you, Colorado! Yeah, Colorado! Oh, man. You know, we're in Colorado now. We're in Colorado. So there we go. Colorado flag is flying, baby. Welcome home, Jeff and Ryan. Woo! Yes, it feels good! Snowy Colorado. We're about 30 miles outside of Pueblo. Here we are in the front range. We just came over a hill. Oh man, there's downtown Denver. Right down that way is Boulder. We're coming, Boulder, we're coming! This is an absolute amazing feeling. We can actually feel Boulder. We're that close. We can feel it. See it! There's Red Rocks. We've been fighting head on freezing cold winds for about, I don't know how long. It seems like forever, but today has been the most brutal. Real day so far. So far, I can't even talk. My lips are numb. We're listening to some Metallica, getting pumped up, getting pumped up for the last day of riding in Boulder. We're pretty excited. Ready to ride our bikes, ride our bikes, ride our bikes home now. We're coming home, oh yes we are. We got Jeff. We got Ben Boyer from Boulder High School. And we've got Ethan Van Dusen from the University of Colorado joining us today on our last ride home. Ow! How are we feeling, Jeff? Oh, we're ecstatic. We're Woo! ecstatic. We're happy. We're happy. And so what made you want to come on this ride this morning? <laughs> the, 
the Doozer inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, Jeff and, and Doozer, they're my heroes. All right, man. And I want to be there to lead them in, man. Yeah. yeah Pull yeah. them that last leg. Sweet. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And Ethan, you had to wake up extra early to be here this morning. How are you feeling? I just had to be here. I couldn't miss it. All right. <laughs> and it's worth getting up for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sweet. Even in the cold. <laughs> here we have, coming up the hill, we got Jeff and we got Ethan. Oh yeah. We knew we were following the right road the whole time. So Jeff, you're about you're about 12 miles out of Boulder. How do you feel? Oh my god. I'm just thinking about all the wonderful relaxing I'm gonna do when I get home and all the friends and the socializing and uh, and basically I'm just really looking forward to doing nothing for a couple weeks. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep. Who would have thought? that I would make it all the way to Boulder from Esperanza. Un abrazo, mami! Honduras, 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 Honduras! Hey, Boulder, how do you feel? Good. Oh, we feel so good. Hey, woo! Here we are, about to get our first glimpse of Boulder. We are Boulder. All the most important people are here. How we feel in Boulder? Yes, sir. Mom number two. Welcome back to Boulder. Thank you. How you doing, Santa Claus? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm out here riding with such a good boy. He's been out doing good things all year long. <laughs> Boulder, I'm home. I'm home, Boulder. There's no better way to get back from Honduras than ride your bike. I never would have thought that I'd actually make it this far. Wow, it feels pretty amazing. Be 30 seconds away from my house. All I have to do is take one left turn, and we're home, baby. Home! The bowler! I made it! I'm home! I'm home! Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Famous last words. And you know what I did right when I walked into my mom's house? I did something that I had been dreaming about doing for over two years. I took a hot bath and it felt so good. <laughs> and yes, well now what do I do is this. This is what I do. I create videos, I share my adventure stories in the hopes of inspiring you to challenge yourselves. And I am so incredibly grateful for that experience riding home from Honduras to Boulder. I think back on those memories all the time and all the lessons I learned and the wonderful people I met. And I use a lot of that in my everyday life and my adventures that I go on today. That adventure kicked off everything and if you're curious if i've been back to see my kids in honduras of course i have i've been back four times since i left in 2005 and the kids are no longer kids they are young adults and they are all doing really really well and with you know facebook and email today i still stay in touch with them and they send me photos and it's really it's wonderful that we're still connected because those two years in honduras were really impactful years on my life. So I really hope you enjoyed this film. It was a blast to put together and finally share it with you. And stay tuned for more. One of these days I'll be able to head out there again once this pandemic stuff settles down and travel opens up a little bit more freely. And I promise maybe I'll shoot it in HD this time or even 4K, who knows? No more of this 4-3 little box stuff. That is history. 
Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching all of my videos. You are all the best. My channel is nothing without you. And I wish I could give you all a big abrazo. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. And don't forget, get off that couch.